Hello everybody and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're back again, jumping in as eyes this time around. It's been a little while since I played as eyes and we've got ourselves Golden Frost Knife is interesting. Also Golden Slugger kind of is too. Oh, I do have my secondary one, so I guess we'll just go with both. There you go. Simple, simple, simple. Right, jump in. Of course, we go with our classic of the Crown of Inversion. Um, it's what I like to go for early on so we can get those inverted areas more often But yeah having the frost knife frost knife's obviously not great But having the frost knife just as a melee weapon to start with is kind of nice. It's better than the regular melee weapons I suppose it's it's not bad at all um, Which is not as good as some of the other melees. Oh wait did I say weapon stolen because I didn't have ammo That's kind of funny. I did not know they could do that. I've never seen that happen before Right just having, yeah, having a melee weapon on, like, stages like this when there's a lot of annoying enemies that shoot a lot of projectiles. Ooh, yes please with the micro SMG. Aha! Easy kill on that guy. Okay, good stuff, right. Let's do this. I don't know how easy this guy's gonna be to kill. The frost knife might make it easier. Just because I can deflect his um, explosives back at him and freeze him at the same time. I just need to make sure not to kill myself with it. Oh, another frost knife. <laughs> go for the double. I could go straight into melee here, but I think I'm going to go with eagle eyes so that I can make more use out of the micro SMG. Um, and then we'll go with flexible as well. Yeah, this thing becomes pretty darn good once you uh, get eagle eyes on it. Right, I'm going to try and come through here and kill all these guys first. Makes that life a little easier. I'm also trying to use my ability a little more often here with this guy. Pot shot's kind of interesting. Where you at? Where you at, big fella? Right, there you go. Look at, look at that pristine accuracy. We like to see it. Really? You teleported me all the way over there? Seems a little excessive, big boy. There you go, he's finally dead. And there's another enemy down here somewhere that he spawned. Oh no, I just need to do this. Oh, I like the way it shows up as like an, an enemy on the mini-map there, just to make you go over there. That's good. We do get our choices though, we get to do some choosies. I'm gonna go with scarier face here, because we've got a micro weapon. I think that's what I'm gonna go for at least. I could go with uh, long arms, but no, I'm gonna go with scarier face here. Okay. Trying to use my melee weapon to conserve some ammo to start with here, but these dudes are uh, kind of annoying in their shooty shootiness. We had a heavy sledgehammer there. Oh, dude, this is some, this is. Woo! There's a there's a little summary screen here. That's cool, but just gotta say that death was was some straight BS. <laughs> the dude just popped up underneath me. Did not like that. Did not like that at all. But we'll try it again. Um, probably just go Plutonium Hunger here. Obviously, a pretty simple choice. But yeah, I want to try and use my ability a little more often because I don't really use it that much, this character. And it is goddamn good because you can just hold it all the time. Oh, yes. I am liking this setup right now. Do you want to chill out, my guy? He does not want to chill out. Okay, good, good, good. Toxic launcher. I don't think I need that for now. Um, there's eagle eyes again, but I think I'm going to go with tough shell this time and try and go for a bit of survivability. Okay, slightly annoying enemies here. Uh, I'm going to go with a pop cannon. Is Pop Cannon new? Pop Cannon might be new. I don't recognize the Pop Cannon's name. Either way, I like it. It seems good. Don't unceremoniously kill me. I'd rather you not. Okay, it's got to be nearly dead, right? There you go. We got him, we got him. Did, did we get an inverted area here? I don't think I got a chance to check today. I said there's still more of the level left yet. I didn't. Oh, I did, I did get an inverted area. Ooh, what the hell is the snare bolt? 
There's some new stuff. Oh, dude, did that not take me to the inverted area? Are you kidding me? Oh, I like that. I like that. That's really cool. Can't believe it didn't take me to the inverted area, though. That's, that's kind of BS. But we can grab Bolt Marrow here, which I like. Bolt Marrow with this thing seems fun. I always like to just make my build sort of... I let, I let the, the, the guns that I get early on define it. Even though the guns that you get early on aren't the ones you're going to keep, I always like to let the early guns define what I end up building towards for later on. We'll go with that. But this seems pretty interesting as a weapon. I like the idea behind it. Guy stole a lot of ammo from me then. Especially with their eyes when I can pull enemies into the snares. I'll take a frost shotgun. Cool. Head on through here. I like the little cat growl he does. I don't know why he does it, but I found it funny. Okay, I have accidentally awoken the beast and not a great spot here. And there is, of course, a sniper lurking behind him. Director of Razor seems right up my street right now. Yeah, that seems like a good gun. That seems like a damn good gun. Oh, this, this with uh, shotgun shoulders could be a lot of fun, so... I'll be taking that if it comes along. There it is. That projectile speed is delightful. Just adds so much extra range to shotgun shoulders, doesn't it? So much extra range. And we liketh the extra range. Heavy sledgehammer once again. Good, good auto shotgun. Not quite as good as this thing, I wouldn't think. <clears throat> all good? All good, baby. All good. But yeah, I have been on holiday for a good couple of weeks. It's my first run back on uh, for about two weeks now. <clears throat> And let me tell you, it's good to be back. This game is just, it's just like a welcoming presence. It feels so familiar, but so like, I don't know. This is like one of the most relaxing roguelikes to play, which sounds really stupid considering how easy it is to die and how bullshit it can be. But I don't know, I find this, I find this to be such a, such a chill roguelike. I think it's because the runs are so short and like, you can change things up so quickly. It just feels proper. I don't know. It feels it feels right for a game that you can just kind of play along with. All right, good, good. Can I slip one of these up here? Bump. I can, but it won't help me apparently. I have a lot of HP. Holy shit! Well, that was a lot of stuff happening. The explosive shots are not welcome. Not welcome in the slightest. Give me that flame on there, please. Redirect when piercing. Um, fists could be good. Now nah, we'll go. We'll go in a piece for the safety. Okay, I said safety, but I've uh, lost a lot of HP here. I'm just going to basically ignore um, the little fella here. Wait until I'm in a better position to fight him. Because right now he is uh, spewing out... Yeah, I, I knew I was going to die there. That's really cool, though. There's like a proper summary now. That's that's really interesting. I wonder what the um, little icon there meant. I tried to click on it, but nothing happened. Okay, let's try that again. As I said, first run back in a while, so not going to be the best at the game at the moment, I've got to say. The, the, the chances of me being good at this game are pretty slim. I don't think we'll be getting a loop one or two run here. But just because it seems futile doesn't mean we shouldn't try. So I will do my darndest to keep ourselves going. Toxic launcher, I will take and uh, touch you up.
Come on, that's gotta kill ya. There you go, finally. Wanted that ammo, but oh well. Right, we leveled up again. Okay, what do we go for here? Maybe we go with this with a Toxic, that could be good. Um, double Telekinesis Strength, there you go, yeah, let's do it. Oh my god. It's bringing that, that ammo into us, but it's not a good thing. <laughs> We do push Toxic away with uh, Telekinesis though, which is cool. Which means it pushes it directly into walls, which turns it into Herming. Pretty cool combo, this actually. Pretty cool combo. I just need some explosion resistance so I don't kill myself accidentally. But I'm liking it. I don't know how you're not dead yet, to be honest. There you go, you are now. This telekinesis strength, baby. It's kind of wild. Was that a double laser pistol I saw? Hell yes, it was. Right, let's be careful here because this stage do be a, a funky. I'm just going to spam so many of these and hope that that works for me. Okay, boss man, I need you to get out of the way, because I've already bombed myself. The telekinesis screwed me so hard there. I was just holding on to it, but it just pulled him directly towards me. I thought it was meant to push enemies away. Or is that something else that I'm thinking of? Is that maybe one of his uh, ultras? I don't know, but that didn't go too well for me there. Maybe I'll go with this again. I, I, really, I really like this... Um, crown it makes everything a lot harder and like by a lot i mean a lot but you do start to get high tier weapons very very quickly after going through a few crown vaults and stuff which i very much enjoy um yeah we'll go with it in a piece that seems very very useful for this uh level of difficulty yeah everything's just faster and stuff as well which i don't know like te telekinesis right now is, is kind of sketching me out maybe i shouldn't be using it Definitely need to be using melee weapons. That's that's apparent. That feels obvious. I feel like this guy's going to end up killing me right now. Oh, yeah. I just knew it. I, I just... I, like, when the boss spawns in a location like that, you can just feel it. That's... As I was saying earlier about Nuclear Throne being relaxing, but a lot of bullshit. That's one thing I do find very heavily bullshitted is when a boss will just spawn in like a little like like that that skull there spawned in like a little corner obviously i could just not use the skull but i want to use the skull and it just oh it feels bad man you get like put in a corner with a boss i could have like tried to sort of get him to follow me kind of thing and see if that would have worked Got most of that gone. I do not like you being alive still. So. Yeah, the, the, like this difficulty obviously like just changes the delay in attack speed by a lot. And it with this this guy specifically, it makes him look at this. Have you seen how quickly he's changing directions when he's dashing? It's it's absolutely absurd. He just dashed while firing. You can't do that, sir. Double pop gun. Yeah, I'll take the double pop gun right now. Why not? Um, I'm going to try the throne, but I want to I want to try and make this work. So I'm going to try that again. Um, and I am going to go for inner peace again here. Right, just, just try and keep things happy. Keep it all ticking over. Getting rid of the pop gun for this. I 
Right, boss man, I'm going to need you to chill more out. I managed to get him. Lovely. Straight on through, I reckon. Yep, no inverted this time. Right, what do we actually want here? Because I don't know. I think I'm just gonna go with eagle eyes, considering I've got guns that work with it currently. Because this this thing, it's a it's an ammo muncher, but boy, will it do a lot of damage? With it being this accurate, I like it. Hey, I was hoping that guy would do that. No, don't be stealing ammo from me. I've got very limited supply. Okay, this this secondary weapon, the spear launcher, does not fire fast enough to be a, a good backup plan. It's very, very slow. Toxic laser rifle. There you go. That'll do us. Burst. Okay, so that's burst, which means that we get a lot from Tail's End here. I don't know, this is shaping up to be something. I kinda like this. This is this is this is good stuff. Flamethrower. Inverted now we go through here first. We are definitely getting some better tier weapons here. I want to try and play on this difficulty, like, with this crown more. It does limit us taking other crowns, but I do like the increased difficulty and the, uh, better weapons. Because I just, I, I want to see more of the later tier weapons. I'm not good enough at the game, in terms of looping specifically, to get far enough to see them. So this allows me to see them a bit earlier, which gives me a chance. So I can start seeing them on loop 1 rather than loop, like, 3 or 4, which I think is what the game wants you to do, which I can't do. Bouncer Plasma Gun. Yes, I'll take that. I definitely want energy brain at this time. Hyper assault shotgun already. I love the noise this makes when it bounces. It sounds so techno-y. Back off you. There's a micro weapon on the floor over there. It looks to be just a micro SMG though, which is kind of sad. Yeah, that is. Hyper assault shotgun, here we come. Oh my lord, that's a lot of pellets. I wish there was an easier way through this wall instead of walking all the way around it every time, but there is not. Director Plasma Shotgun. Oh my lord. Missile rain. Holy shit. That seems like it's going to kill me, which is why I'm going to take it. <laughs> this is amazing. See, this is what I mean. Like, these are weapons that I want to be seeing more often because they're really, really cool. I don't even know if this is new. That's a Cuba weapon. I wanted the, the wave gun. Oh, wave gun's pretty good. I'll go with a wave gun. Definitely an explosion immunity right now, though, because I'm going to kill myself with this thing. I guess I'll go with this. It's explosion immunity in a way. <laughs> this is so good. I'm really enjoying that. <laughs> Split blade gun. Ooh, that seems fun. Got some shotgun on it. 
Oh, the missile rain is burst as well, so Tail's End is really making it that much better. The spear. I feel like the spear would have a lot of range to work with. This is amazing. Blood shovel. Oh, man. Let's try out the split blade gun. I've not even tried that yet. Seems pretty good. I'm gonna try it on the next level. Okay. Instant regret. Stick to what you know. My god, I'm gonna kill myself with this thing. But I don't care, it's so fun. Don't you dare kill me. I've got too much to live for. This run's too much fun. Bomber rear. Uh, I've already got explosives, thank you. There it is, baby. Kind of wish I was taking the bomber rear uh, now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, using this just feels so good. So, so good. Don't kill me. No, no, no. Why am I not hitting this guy, dude? Well, that guy was annoying. I need, I need more ammo coming in right now. Auto... Ha yeah, let's go with that, shall we? I'll go through here and see what it gives me. Don't take Tail's End away from me, though. Don't you dare. That's fine. That's there. Uh, that's iffy. Oh, you're you're a. It does it on purpose. I know it does. Auto hand cannon. It's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Super Flame Eraser. Oh man, there's some good guns here. Ultra. I saw an Ultra. I, I, I wish, just for content creation purposes, there was a mode where I could leave the game's vanilla difficulty and just turn the weapon spawns up to what this is. It would definitely make the game easier and it would definitely be cheating. But for video, for like video production sake, it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> I just want to show off more of the cool stuff that I've never seen before. There's, like, a whole, like, tier of weapons. Like, there's, like, I think anything above, like, 26, 25, something like that, I've just never seen. Got uh, Ultra, lovely. Also, now, uh, Ultras are unlocked upon seeing them, not picking them. So I need to go back through my list of Ultras, um, like, secret Ultras, and see if I can get some of them. Ultra Toxic Thrower. Give it a go. Apparently this guy's a lot tankier now. And moves more. So we'll see how we do against him. Well, this weapon's pretty good, so it's kind of hard to say. Ooh, is that, is that new? I don't, maybe that's new, I don't know. Either way, bested. Regal Vision. Pressing F creates a mind spiral. Uh, it pulls everything in, can only have one spiral at a time. Right, so I think we've got all of the secret ultras for this. Let's have a little look, see what we've got going on here. So... Attracts HP, drops Rad's weapons um, through walls. That's good. Um, fully see in the dark. Some enemies attack each other. Um, when not using active, push enemies away. Hold your projectiles. Um, 
Hell projectiles block enemy projectiles. Your active change into void pull, burst pull all enemies and enemies projectiles towards you. Create a void circle around you that consumes projectiles and deals damage. Telekinesis pulls enemies and projectiles towards your crosshair. Infinite telekinesis range, stronger push. Ooh, I'm going to go with a void one. I'm pretty sure I remember that being pretty good. Almost died already. That was that was scary. This missile rune thing's amazing. Yeah, I don't know if this is this is gonna be good for us or not. Oh god, that it sucks the poison towards me. No. It sucks the poison towards me. <laughs> okay, well that was rather silly. This 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 is really really cool. I I still don't know what this means. Is this like my most used weapons or something? But lightning minigun I didn't even pick up. So I'm not quite Or maybe it's just like this is new. I haven't seen it before. Cuz I I don't think I've seen that before. I don't think I've seen that before. And I don't think I've seen that before. And I'm pretty sure the grey outline means that I didn't pick it up. Interesting. Interesting. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Um, although, yeah, there are some weapons in here I didn't pick up, so I'm not quite sure if it just shows everything that spawned. Either way, that's really cool. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you guys in the next one.